Staying with the U.S. now, al-Qaeda claims to be behind a failed attack on a U.S. passenger jet that was going from Amsterdam to Detroit. This was apparently in retaliation for a U.S. operation against the terror group in Yemen. For more now, we go to RT's Christine Frazao, who is in our Washington studio. So tell us, Christine, this Nigerian that's accused apparently has links to al-Qaeda in Yemen. Could this be a possible new front in the war on terror? Well, there are a lot of theories about that, Matt, and we have a guest today that's going to talk about that. But I've put together a timeline for you very briefly, just when Yemen came into our frame of mind. That was back in 2000, the bombing of the USS Cole. More recently, June 1st, there was a shooting at a recruiting center. It was a shooting of a soldier by a Muslim who had just visited Yemen. That's the main suspect there. Uh, that was in Little Rock, Arkansas. The prime suspect in the Fort Hood shootings, Nadal Malik Hassan, was said to be associated with someone in Yemen. Yemen. And of course, just very recently, the attempted bombing of a plane, Delta Flight 253, by a Nigerian man who is said to have several ties to Yemen as well. This is the timeline as we are told. My guest today, Webster Tarpley, seems to think there is a little bit of a different um, a difference in what, what these theories are. Uh, Yemen, is it a bastion for terrorists or is it something else, Mr. Tarpley? Well, Yemen right now is a target for the United States. Uh, the the United States has carried out two rather large bombing raids in Yemen just in the last two weeks. There's a civil war in Yemen. We have the Houthi rebels, Shiites backed by Iran, fighting against the Yemen central government, if we can call it that, which is backed by Saudi Arabia. Uh, so that's going on, and the U.S. is intervening. According to Iranian sources, Senator McCain and Congresswoman Harman have been in Yemen recently with the attempt to build up al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, of course, functioning, as always, as the CIA Arab Islamic Legion. Uh, the, the connection here is that uh, they're trying to build up a presence of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, a creation wholly of the U.S. intelligence agencies, so that they can play Saudi Arabia against Iran and fight against both. There's a strong current inside Saudi Arabia that would like to break away from the U.S. protectorate. You also have some different theories about this suspect in the most recent um, attempted bombing on yes. the airplane. You, uh, we are told that it's a Nigerian man who is associated with Al Qaeda. You're saying there's something that we're missing here. Well, that, that's uh, the the fact is that this is a protected patsy. In other words, this is a puppet. This is somebody who's an asset controlled by U.S. intelligence. Uh, this is a way to stage a provocation. We've had four days of wall-to-wall -wall hysteria worldwide about this. Let's just look at a couple of facts. His father, a rich Nigerian banker, went to the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria on the 19th of November and said, my son is in Yemen. He's at a terrorist training camp. Do something about this. Ne nevertheless, the son is allowed to buy a ticket in Ghana, paying cash, $2,800, for a one-way ticket he can get on the plane in Nigeria after entering Nigeria illegally. And when he gets to Amsterdam, he's apparently, I think, a mental deficient who can't make it from one gate to another. So according to an eyewitness account, there's a well-dressed Indian man who brings him to the gate for the U.S. flight and says, my client here or my friend here doesn't have a passport. Get him on. He's Sudanese and we do this all the time. So you're that's saying impossible. there's no way this man should have been able to get on board the plane if he was, in fact, all the things that they're right. saying. What we need Real to quick, do right, I just need to wrap this up. Your very quick comment on the new axis of evil. Yeah, the new axis of evil is, is what According we've heard all over, the, all over the weekend and now from, from Obama today. It's Afghanistan, Pakistan understood as one thing, Somalia and then Yemen. And I would say in terms of countermeasures, it's time to install a mole detector at the CIA and the FBI and fire the head of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano, Incompetano, Totalitano, Tariano, who doesn't even know her own failure when she sees it looking at it in the face. We can't know whether these people are complicit or whether they're, whether they're just incompetent, but they should be fired. Well, thank you so much, Webster Tarpley, investigative journalist. As always, I am going to go ahead and send it back to you. Some very strong opinion there from your guests. Thank you very much, Christine Frazao in our Washington studio.